here on this screen we have Rolle's theorem and at the right hand side of the screen we have a plot that we're going to use to explain this. If we have a look at the plot on the right hand side of the screen we have a function y equals f of x uh, highlighted in blue on the plot. It's been defined and plotted between x is equal to a and x is equal to b. So a closed interval from a to b is the points between a and b including x is equal to a and x is equal to b. Our function y equals f of x, it's a continuous function. Uh, when we think of continuous, uh, we can think of that as intuitively being a function that which we could draw as an unbroken line using our pen without ever lifting our pen from the page. The function y equals f of x it crosses the x-axis at x is equal to a. So at x is equal to a, f of a is equal to 0. And the function also crosses the x-axis at x is equal to b. So at x is equal to b, uh, the function value f of b uh, is equal to 0. If we have a look at the left-hand side of the screen now, uh, to the description of Rolle's theorem. For a continuous function, y equals f of x on a closed interval from a to b, where that function is differentiable at every point of the open interval from a to b. So what that means is that for differentiable, that means that the function has a derivative at those points and every point of the open interval from a to b that's referring to every point between a and b and we write the open interval as open parenthesis a comma b uh, close parenthesis for the open interval between a and b so for those conditions if f of a equals f of b is equal to zero then there's at least one number, x is equal to c, in the open interval, a to b, so between a and b, at which f prime c is equal to zero. So f prime c is the derivative of f of x, which we can write as f prime x, specifically where x is equal to c. So the derivative of our function, where x is equal to c, is equal to 0 for at least one number c between a and b. That's what Rolle's theorem is stating. In other words, a differentiable curve has at least one horizontal tangent between any two points where it crosses the x-axis. Now we're going to prove Rolle's uh, theorem. And uh, here is the proof. The function f of x has absolute maximum and absolute minimum values on the closed interval from a to b. These can only occur at interior points where f prime x, the derivative, is equal to zero. Interior points where f prime x doesn't exist and the endpoints of the function's domain a and b so x is equal to a and x is equal to b the function f of x is differentiable at every point between a and b so that rules out the second option for the first option that the function f of x has absolute maximum and absolute minimum values at interior points where the derivative f prime x is equal to zero between a and b. If the absolute maximum or minimum 
occurs at a point x equals c inside the interval, then the derivative f prime c will be equal to zero. So we have satisfied the theorem. Now for the only remaining option, the last option, if both the absolute maximum and minimum are at a or b, then the maximum and minimum values of f of x are both zero because f of a, that's equal to zero, and f of b, that's equal to zero. So if the absolute maximum and minimum of the function are, both, are at a or b, then that absolute maximum and minimum, it has to be equal to zero. And this means that f of x has the constant value zero, because if its maximum is zero and its minimum is zero, then if its absolute maximum is zero and its absolute minimum is zero, then every value is zero. So the derivative f prime x is equal to zero uh, between a and b. So there's a number, x is equal to c, between a and b at which the derivative f prime c is equal to zero. And uh, this proves a uh, Rolle's theorem.